today is the semi-final of the Euro World Cups and I've been invited to watch it with my friend OC when it's her birthday, 23 years old. Happy birthday! Gotta be there in a bit! And she's invited me basically all the way to Shoreditch, which, although Shoreditch is bloody great, it is actually, let me check, is exactly 11.7 miles. Suburb life is really different from central London living, especially if you're going to an East London event and you live in West London. But she's invited me to a little pub off Shoreditch High Street and you have to go a long way on the London Tube to get there. So uh, I'm going to show you my journey to central London today and uh, hopefully I'm going to get on time to watch the game because it's already past date and it's just started but I don't know because it would be a real bummer if I got there and missed it because that's like the whole focal point of the evening. What I want to show you is I'm bringing a 2 litre Kropla Beskidu Voda Polska with me because this costs like 30p here in the suburbs. There you get half a litre bottle for like 3 quid, even more if you got all this fancy glass and bubbles and stuff. I'm not going to drink it when I'm there, obviously, that's stupid. But I will be sipping on the way and straight on the way back. Aha! I've been a commuter in London for high school, five years, college for half, six months, then it was bus, then in my car, university for two years of my degree, the first year I lived there, but I still would commute for the weekend at home, and I worked like for a year at uni, but I was driving in a bit then, and cycling mainly. Yeah, you just commute anywhere else now, now it's just for meeting people. When you think about it, three, four hours of travel per day is a lot. You could spend somewhere else, maybe just jamming, like on the beach. Digital nomad, I hope, soon. Properly. That's like the future of work. You can just work wherever, whenever, although you prefer working the day. <laughs> I think that's the future because everything's online now. The question is like, are we hungry enough to find those jobs? stop because the district line also stops here and it's where the Piccadilly begins to interlink with the district. From Acton Town there will always be district Piccadilly line chase. It's always racing between like Acton Town and Hammersmith and that's literally as exciting as it got going home from school for five years. <laughs> Hammersmith is where all the girls would get off, or all the girls would get on because it was sacred park. This is Baron's Court, and this is one of those insignificant stations. So we've just gone underground, we're approaching Ells Court. That's like the second most exciting thing when commuting into like Central. It's because it signifies serious London as opposed to suburbs. Welcome to Ells Court. No views apart from like really cool tiling on the like the retro part of the underground, and well, of course, a lot of like a lot of adverts in it, like because you don't get enough of that around. It's just tiny. Taking a pit stop to get a breath at Knightsbridge. Guess what Knightsbridge is? It's where Harrods is in London and it's where you see all the people like shopping, like but expensive shopping. To be fair, I'm 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 really late, like I'm gonna be a, a few hours late and uh, I hopefully will catch the end of the game, but I just don't like watching a whole game. So, come on like Wales ain't my team, Portugal ain't my team because they kick Poland out, like and England are out, so <laughs> 